Okay guys, so we are jumping back in straight to the slums. Our favorite dump dwellers are awake tonight, even though it is a little late, and they are getting some work done before the big day tomorrow. So we have Nadia who is over here diving for deals. She's looking for things that we can sell once we vote for our marketplace. Um, we have Cedric making candles. He wants to get a couple made. And we have Joshua who is, I don't know, I think he's just sitting by a fire and talking to himself. Yeah, he's just talking to himself, but that's fine. He's more there to be, you know, like a father figure than to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? than to be, you know, really like making things, but maybe he'll get into some creating and fabricating when we have more of a means to do so. Okay, keep diving for deals, Nadia. If there are more deals to be had, then you better keep diving. Oops, told the wrong person to do that. Okay, so we are diving for deals. We are making candles. Then I'm gonna have these guys go to bed. We're gonna wake up tomorrow and the voting day begins. So like it was um, heavily requested, I am going to be switching between all the families for this part. And then I will do some parts, separate families, some parts like this, where I'll be switching between all of them. That way you can kind of, um, it may be if you only wanna follow one storyline, you can kind of follow that storyline. But there was always the plan there for the stories to be a little bit intertwined, so. We are sticking with the original plan, and also I'm going to make sure that I continue to listen to you guys and what you want to see. Um, but I already, I know exactly how Mariah and Cedric and Nadia are going to become friends. What I don't know is how I'm going to get um, our, the compound folks in, but I'm sure I will figure it out. Cedric finished making a candle. Awesome job, Cedric. That means that you can go to bed. Your work here is done for the night. Um, Nadia found a kitchen upgrade part. Not really anything good for selling, but that is okay. You can also go to bed tonight because tomorrow we are voting. Okay guys, so I have our crew here bright and early. Voting starts at 6 a.m., but we are going to go ahead and come um, do some diving and whatnot before the voting starts. Um, and also some recycling. I think that we have some recycled materials that we could um, put through the recycler. Oh wait, do you get recycled materials out of the recycler or do you put them in the recycler? I don't know. Okay guys, so I just got the notification up here in the corner. It says, it says, head to your mailbox for the nearest public voting board to take your vote on this week's neighborhood action plan. Um, but also the community space voting is open. So we are going to have Cedric come first. You are going to vote on community space projects. I'm also going to have them vote on some naps. I think that they would really like um, some like industrial development. I don't know if that's an option, but I want to check or like a party neighborhood maybe. I don't know, something fun. But Cedric is going to come first, and then little Nadia, and then Joshua. I'm not sure if you actually have any points, but I'll let you come try anyway. Okay, so how many votes do you get? 10. So I'm going to have him spend all of his votes but 20 on Marketplace. And then, obviously, Nadia will come second to vote. Oh, and it looks like people are showing up to vote. Um, Bella Goth, you don't live in this neighborhood. That's fine, I forgive you, but... You know, it's kind of weird that you're voting. Uh, yeah, Joshua doesn't have any influence points. I'm sorry, friend. Um, you know, he's just kind of, that's not really his thing. Why don't you go over here and dive for meals and try to get us some lunch? Is that airplane in game? I've never heard that sound before. Okay, Nadia, I know you have points. Can you come vote on community space projects? And then, Joshua, I'm going to have you vote on our naps and Nadia you need to vote on naps I'm surprised that they didn't make a nap nap like where's our like daily siesta why can't I vote for that it would have been a perfect pun since team you missed an opportunity okay Nadia you are voting also for marketplace okay Nadia Nadia is the first one getting her shower on way to go girl can the rest of you please come out here quickly quickly you are wasting a beautiful opportunity to get clean. Cedric is coming, but he really has to pee. Damn, I wish he could have peed himself before showering in the rain. Um, but maybe he did. I wonder, did he pee himself? Oh wait, I didn't even do that. He's just peeing now. He's peeing while he's showering. I didn't even have to cheat. The game cheated for me. Joshua, why do you have an umbrella? I want you to shower, bud. Nadia, are you clean? 
No, I thought you just showered in the rain. Come on, do it again. Do it again until you're clean. Extinguish yourself. Stop being on fire. Like, I don't understand. Just walk two inches into the rain and you'll be fine. Like, I really don't want you to die yet, dude. This was not the plan that I had for you. And you're ruining my story. But my game is so laggy that it won't even let me click on him. I swear, guys, I can't. Okay, guys, we are back. And we are at the bar. And strangely, um, you know, it's so strange. It's like not even cheated at all. Someone who we know is there. Watch. Could that be Mariah? Um, but of course, our Sims don't know that. They're not in a club together. Don't worry. That's... It's nothing. You're imagining things. Um, this is just a strange occurrence to where two of our sims showed up in the same place at the same time. Wow. And Nadia is, you know, um, she's feeling herself and she sees like a pretty girl and is like, yeah, I should go talk to her. So Nadia is going to go ahead and say hi. You know, she's always trying to make friends and her whole goal in life is to be the leader of the free world. And she's like, this girl looks rich. Um, she looks, you know, she looks like, well, one, she looks like she's not from around here because she's dressed very nicely and looks very clean and put together. And she looks like her parents got money, which they do. And now we've kind of all, um, she's feeling flirty. So that is a good news for us. Maybe we can do a little, pull a little Bella and Mortimer. Um, while Nadia chats up Mariah, Nadia is obviously, I mean, she's not the friendliest sim, but she is charismatic. And so when she sees someone who she thinks could earn her influence, she's all for it. But it looks like uh, Mariah is maybe more interested in trying to chat with Cedric or maybe Bajorn. Um, so this whole conversation triangle is becoming a little bit of a mess. Okay, so now that everyone has met and chatting, um, I'm going to let them have their night out at the bar, and then I think tomorrow we will wake up and see our, be with our girl, Mariah. Okay guys, I'm back, I'm in the game. After recording that intro, I recorded 20 minutes of footage and then the whole system died. And fire has started. Well, guys, this day just, just couldn't get any better, could it? We don't have a fire alarm. I'm hoping the dad can figure it out by himself. I really don't want a death right now. I hope he doesn't die. I really don't want him to die. I'm sorry, guys. I can't even summon up the energy to be, like, uh, excited about this because why? We just had a fire in the last family. I'm sorry to break it to you, kids, but your dad's an idiot. <laughs> Um, awesome. So Tristan called the fire department. Everything's fine. They'll take care of it. We're ignoring it, but that's fine. You know, just don't. Like, that's your only job, but don't worry about it. You, you don't have to put the fire out, I guess. We'll just, we'll just let it burn. I mean, what else can you do in life? Are you carrying your brother to safety? Because that's super cute. Yeah, Mariah's a better parent than either of those kids' parents have ever been. Okay, so the fire put itself out. Um, we got some money. That's fine. Let's go. We're leaving. Goodbye. So Mariah is going to come over here and vote. She is super excited. You know, she is working in her local government. She is excited to be a city planner one day or an ego innovator. She wants to save the world and she is going to vote for a maker space. So I've made this decision because originally I think I wanted to have her vote for the garden. However, I think that she would be more inclined to vote for a makerspace and try to um, get the people of her community like being more sustainable, like creating their own goods and making their own energy as opposed to going green in the garden route. I think that our family over in the compounds is going to have a good vote for that. But um, home, I know that things kind of got burned down, um, but here's the thing. It's fine, we have plenty of money. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace these things. Oop, oop, oop. Can we, can we do that? Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and replace the stove and replace the counter. Um, obviously her parents are doing that, not Mariah. This isn't her money. Her money, she probably has like a couple thousand dollars total to her name, but most of this is her parents' money, of course but she's going to do something nice for them and do some cooking today because she wants to cook two grand meals, one for her family that they can enjoy together and one that she is going to bring to the local retirement community to donate. So can you come over here and get started on that? 
I know that you are not the best chef, but that's okay. I think that she would do um, a tofurkey dinner for the retirement for the retirement home, and then maybe she'll do a different one for her family. Okay, guys. So Mariah has spent the morning slaving away, cooking a meal, and as I said, she does not plan to eat this meal herself, but instead she wants to um, donate it to her local retirement home. So she has come here today to volunteer, um, share a meal with them. She might do some cleaning up, try to help out with their gardening and anything they might need really um, because she likes to give back to her community. So that is what she is doing today. So Mariah, can you go ahead and come knock on the door, please? Obviously they are expecting her and she calls the like director and says like, hey, I'm gonna come by today, just wanna help out, yada, yada, yada. At least one person is grabbing a plate, so that is good. The quality is poor. She's not an amazing chef, so it is nice to see that they are appreciating it anyway. And why are you uncomfortable? You're itchy from hormones, there was a fire today, and you're embarrassed about having a breakout. Girl, there is nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens to all of us. We all get acne. Um, but I'm glad that you were having kind of a nice conversation. Everyone seems to come have gotten a slice of your food. So that is great. We just gained bits and pieces, and I'm not sure for what. Um, so do they have any trash that needs to be taken out? Also, shout out to Athena. Um, no, but you can come over here and try to clear the flies, maybe. Um, that would be nice. And then I bet the, that's not actually the bugs I was talking about when I said take care of the bugs. What I was talking about were the bugs that they keep up here, the grubs. So why don't you come nurture and also uh, nurture these ones over here. What is, can we not feed them? It says they're fed, health fine. So you can nurture both of the bugs. Again, sorry, my dog is just having a little play right beside me. Um, and then what else could you do? Is there anything else here that really needs to be done? Looks like someone's laundry is half done over here. So you could go ahead and finish that off or at least um, clear it out for them. What do, needs to be done here? Okay guys, so as soon as I stopped recording, we got a text message from Cedric. He said, are you excited about today? Want to celebrate with me for a little bit? How do I respond to this? Um, it didn't give me an option to like do anything with him. But what I think Mariah would say when she got this phone call is I am actually volunteering today. Um, but if you would like to come meet me, that would be awesome. I would love to meet you here. So what I'm going to do is bring Cedric here. And I think that, you know... This really isn't up his alley, but cute girl from the bar says she wants to go volunteering together and he's in. So let's go ahead and bring Cedric here. Okay, so Cedric has actually come to help her out. That is super sweet. As you can see in their relationship bar, they don't know each other that well, but when they were at the bar last night, she did mention to him how excited she was for community voting this weekend. Um, he was super excited too. They had that in common and he's naked. That's not this kind of visit, my dude. We are back. We are now in the other household. Obviously, in the last um, time I was recording, Cedric had come over to help Mariah. They have been working all day for the compound, doing some volunteering together. And it's the end of the night. And, you know, I just thought that I'd come take a peek at these two and check this out. There's a little flirting going on. So it seems like these two, um, maybe are going to have a little flirt and we will see how that works out later. Hey guys, I'm coming back to you one more time straight out of bed right before work to say that I started editing this morning. Apparently, um, the, that last file didn't record correctly at all. It's unusable footage. I don't have an enemy to re-record this part. I need to get it uploaded and then I need to try again next time. So I'm sorry this part was shitty. I love you guys very much. Please enter the giveaway. I want to give you free stuff because my channel is going down the drain. Um, and you guys are awesome. Please give me some love because I really need it. This is a mess. I got to go to work. Have a good day, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye.